Okay guys, Pete here. I've got my stepper motor mounted on the uh, mounted on the wood board and I had to do some really uh, alignment to make sure the stepper motor was in so there's no torquing on this shaft here although it's a flexible shaft. And so I think we got it I think we got it here and you can see that and if we go around a couple times it'll uh, zero. How about that? Let's do that again. I love it. N6QW here. The beginnings of our automated antenna tuner. Got the uh, plywood board here. Got the wood board here. Had to do a little uh, right here in this area. Had to do some work with regard to shimming this so it was perfect alignment. I got the right shim height. Had to glue some wood pieces together. This area in the center here is going to be used uh, to put uh, the big coil, big old fat coil with a bunch of relays that will put the taps on. So we'll have a selector switch that will switch the, the correct tap and then we can tune. We'll have two separate Ar Arduinos so that we can tune each capacitor independently. I know the guys will tell me there's a way to do it with an Arduino but they're cheap enough and I don't need the grief. I just replicate the program I got. Uh, next thing I got to do is really uh, put the I2C in there so I can look at the number of turns and see which way it's going. Anyway, uh, lots of fun with stepper motors. You too can tune your antenna tuner remotely. Uh, I was thinking I have a third capacitor here and one of the things is like a big old fat L network. Uh, they have that remotely uh, remotely tuned uh, with a big old fat L network so that you can uh, remotely tune an antenna you don't have to go out of the shack. N6QW here. Uh, that ends the stepper motor.